during the day we've had uh, the whole question of that turnout, which is crucial, as you say. And um, around about midday, we, we heard that it was going to be uh, 400,000, uh, extrapolated to 600,000. Then a couple of hours ago, we heard it was going to be a 1 million extrapolated to 1.3 million. So just shy of that 1.5 million, I suspect we will get to that 1.5 million figure. The, uh, the voting centres have closed, 7,500 of them. And as you've been indicating very strongly, the buzz is just not there. They, they're really uh, well short of what the Les Républicains had with their 4 million uh, turnout for their primaries. So uh, that turnout, incredibly crucial, just in terms of the overall party credibility um, as, as a political force. And when can we expect to have those first results then, Nicholas? Those results coming in in the next few minutes, we're talking about um, the, the next hour or so, within the next hour. Um, and of course, the whole question will be, is Valls, who is the former prime minister, who represents, as far as he's concerned, the Socialist Party of the last few years under President Hollande, is he going to be one of the two guys, we're assuming it's, a, it's two guys, because Benoit Hamon, the former education minister on the left of the left party, of this left wing party is the person who's been making a lot of the buzz and so the 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 the, the buzz here tonight in the socialist party headquarters as well uh, has haman has haman got it has he actually uh, surged forward and done a fion if you like fion if you remember francois fion he was like third place with the november primaries for the republicans but he surged forward and he he, he went on to to win the primaries ahead of sarkozy and alain juppe so um what we what we're seeing now um is really tension the Socialist Party headquarters here on tenterhooks. Is uh, Vals going to scrape into this uh, um, vote for a second round runoff against um, a hardliner in, on the left? Nicholas Rashford, thank you very much for that. We'll of course come back to you as soon as those results start coming in.